It is 6.30 right now. Um, I slept pretty good. Woke up a couple times in the night, but um, overall slept pretty good. My phone's showing right now that it's 34 degrees in Jackson, and like I said, I'm up, you know, this forest service road, so I'm up at a decent bit um, of elevation higher than Jackson, so I would imagine it's a decent bit cooler where I'm at. Probably probably right about 32 degrees would be my my guess got the car fired up warming up because it's obviously very fogged up on you know the windows and stuff might even be a little bit icy on there i'll have to get out and check but yeah i have to straighten things up in here and then head off to a trailhead um i have a decent drive to where um i need to go so the sooner i get moving the better but um yeah let's get to it All right, I made it out here to the trailhead. As you can see, nice and bright out, sun is up now. Bowl of oatmeal, cup of coffee, then we'll pack up and hit the trail. So I'm right here right now, and the trail that I'm gonna do is you hike out here along String Lake and loop all the way around the mountain here. And yeah, it's a 19 mile hike, a lot of elevation gain, but it'll be a good one. Absolutely beautiful out here. Beautiful, clear water. Got all the mountains over there. The uh, fog, the clouds around the mountains there starting to burn off from the sun. Big pile of horse poop. But yeah, it's gonna be a good one. I'm excited. One side, we've got mountain peaks over here, up over there, kind of hard to see with the clouds, but, and then on the other side, I think this is String Lake, I think, if I remember correctly. I have to look at the map again, but. Been hiking for a little bit less than an hour. Um, feeling great so far. The first, like, 20 minutes um my legs are killing me my lungs are killing me but then uh once i get warmed up man i feel good people talk about like runners high or like getting into a flow when you're running i can't do that but sometimes when i hike especially if i'm hiking alone man i just get going and just the time flies nice little waterfall on the trail here i wish it were a little bit closer uh, i could drink some of the water but pretty little waterfall Trying to show these mountains or even the tree colors. The camera does not do it justice. Look at those things. Crazy. And then right in front of me, same thing. Just got out of some of the thicker um, trees and Man, I'm in like this open valley part of the trail and man, it is insane. Just, so this is the trail, going straight ahead to one side, just insane mountains. That's where I just came from, through all those trees and on the other side, just more crazy mountains. The trail that I'm on, um, keeps going down here and it actually loops all the way around this mountain here so it goes up through here and loops around that way some fresh ice cold mountain water not gonna lie I'm starting to feel a little bit tired I'm only at about five five and a half miles right now so can't be getting tired yet, got a long ways to go. Thankfully, I think the first half, the first 10 miles is the hardest, that's where most of the elevation gain is. And then, I think the back half, there's a lot of downhill, huh. which will be very nice. But as you can see, 
we're getting up here. We're getting some altitude. Uh, it's good though. It's beautiful. I started way, way back there, way beyond that lake. And I'm like, I'm not even close to a third of the way. That's what we like to see. All right, I'm almost six and a half miles in and I made it to Holly Lake. Beautiful little lake up here. It says that right now we're at 9,400 feet elevation, which I can definitely feel, you know, I'm hiking, <sighs> breathing, breathing pretty heavy. Definitely can feel it in my muscles a little bit too, but nothing that you can't push through, but definitely makes it a little more tiring, but gosh, this lake is beautiful. If it were even a little bit warmer out, I would definitely get in that lake. Oh. Yeah, like I said, I'm almost six and a half miles in, but have not eaten anything so far on the hike, so just got a little meat stick here. Perfect little camp snack. Hiking snack, I guess. I'm not camping up here. Well, I'm hanging out by Holly Lake here having a little snack and the uh, cutoff on the trail is just over this way. The trail is right, right where I need to go is right here, but as I'm hanging out, I see I have a little visitor over here. Got a little bear over there. So yeah, I'm kinda, I guess I'll hang out a little bit longer than I planned to because I need to hike right there, and that's like kind of right where my buddy's hanging out. I've never seen a bear while hiking before, so it's a first for everything, so that's kind of cool. But as you can see, he's just right by the sign, and right there is where my trail is, so once he's done eating his berries, I can be on my way. So the biggest thing about hiking around bears is making sure to let them know you're there, so since I saw the bear over there, I've made sure to call out to him, make sure he knows I'm here, make some noise, and have music playing on my speaker. Um, that's why I hike with music playing, so that, you know, if I come around a corner on a trail and there's a bear, hopefully I don't startle them, because that's what you don't want to do. You don't want to startle a bear. Saw another lady hiking up behind me, so made sure to let her know there's a bear there. But he's just enjoying his berries, doesn't want to bother anybody. Well, I was gonna um, head on out, but there's a lady on the other side of the bear, so I figured I'm gonna hang out until the bear makes um, makes his way around her, just cause, you know, not sure. Who knows, maybe she's not that comfortable with it, and you know, who knows. Figured it's safer if I hang out until the bear's gone, just to make sure she makes it by just fine, but yeah, he still is mounting on his berries and making his way along. Honestly, I didn't expect to see a bear on the trail, so that's really exciting, honestly. Um, like I said, first time ever seeing a bear hiking, and even better that it's out in Grand Teton National Park, just up here way in the mountains. All right, finally on the move again. Whew, um, the lady finally made it around the bear, so talked to her for a second and headed out, so. Whew, hi yeah. yay. The elevation is really getting to me up here. Right after the lake, there's a steep, steep little push. And man, I'm feeling it. Honestly, before stopping at the lake, I wasn't feeling the altitude all that much, but man, it's starting to kick in now. Definitely can feel that I'm having a harder time breathing. But hey, that makes sense, because we're getting up here to around 10,000 feet, so that's pretty high. It's a lot higher than I've ever hiked at. Well, that was weird. I just saw um, 
a stash of clothing in in a log along with um, one little propane canister. So it is near a camping area. Maybe they're, I don't know, wandering around and want to carry it. I don't know. At the beginning of the trailhead, there was a sign showing the clothing of a missing person. Um, there's an active missing person out here right now. So I did stop to look at the clothing and I looked back at the photo I took of that sign earlier just because you never know, it was worth checking. Thankfully the clothing was not that of the missing person, so not sure what it was, but interesting. Weird either way. Probably the steepest elevation gain so far of the hike. And uh, yeah, the trail came right up here. So you can see, it goes up here. You can see the line up there. I'm having a stop for a breather here, sitting on a rock out here. Got a beautiful view. Gonna eat a little bit of some nut mix here. Just drink some water. Recharge for a few minutes before I make my way up there. Um, I, I think the trail might go all the way up to there. Um, like up and around there, but yeah. Just gonna recharge for a few minutes and then be on my way. I am hurting. <sighs> Elevation 10,700 feet. Man, not gonna lie, that stretch going up here, up over here, that is probably the most I have ever struggled while hiking. Man, this whole elevation thing, it ain't no joke. Um, but yeah, thankfully, I think, I think, I hope, that was the hardest push right there. There's still tons of mileage left. I still have like 11 miles left, but. I think that for the most part, the incline, the elevation gain is mostly over. So, thank goodness, because gosh, I was struggling. Whew. Well, made it down to this little lake now. Um, crazy to think that literally like not long ago at all, I was right there, coming up um, from the other side. Then hiked down this little rock field here, and now we're down here. It feels good to not be hiking up. Um, I still have, let's see, let me see where we're at. I still have like a solid eight, nine miles left. Um, so, you know, we're not quite home free yet, but um, kind of feels that way since I know that the altitude is over with as far as having to hike up. So I think I'm going to toss my camera in my bag and just focus on hiking for a while. Um, I just, uh, I want to make sure I get back before dark. So obviously I like to film stuff because it's freaking beautiful out here. But um, yeah, I think I'm going to toss it in my bag for a bit and just focus on hiking. Hello, sweet. Got to see two more bears. You know, that situation could have been worse since it was, you know, a mama and a cub, but there's a bunch of other people around too, and um, they were just wandering on their way. They didn't want anything to do with us. But that's really cool. I got to see three so far today. And just like that, I made it back. She's still here, I'm so glad, I'm so happy she's still here. Oh man, that was a trek and a half, I'm not even gonna lie. It was it was a lot harder than I expected it to be. I certainly didn't expect it to be easy, but man, I don't know, I, that altitude was really getting to me that first half. The trail goes around that mountain, around the back, and back through that valley over there. It's tough to give any kind of scale for it without actually you know, doing the hike, obviously, or whatnot, but man. The sense of accomplishment after a hike like that is, uh, it's, it's so good, not gonna lie. And the best part after a hike, oh, taking off the hiking shoes, letting your feet breathe. Whew, well, after a hike like that, I feel like I gotta give at least a little bit of some kind of recap, but I ended up at 
19.53 miles in 7 hours and 10 minutes. Um, so that's a average pace of 21.58 per mile. Um, yeah, that's about what I was going for. I was hoping to stick around like a 20 mile pace, but there ended up being, um, the incline wasn't as steady as I thought it was going into it. So I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with that. Um, there was about like 20 minutes where I had paused it when I had stopped to take that little snack break. And then I saw the bear and the lady was over there and I waited until the bear passed and she passed and whatnot. So there was about an extra 20 minutes in there where I paused it. But, you know, even with that, just like seven and a half, seven forty maybe, um, which is it's just pretty solid. That's what I, I was wanting to be under eight. So a um, little bit bummed that I didn't quite hit 20. I thought about just like walking back and forth here until I could hit 20. But uh, uh, no, I'm I'm happy with that. So yeah, with the whole bear thing, I was surprised to see that many bears, but I'm, I'm really glad that was really cool. Um, but each time I felt like kind of obligated to like stay for a minute since there was other people around just cause like, I don't know, people don't know anything about them and I'm by no means an expert, but um, just little things like making your presence known. Cause people like a lot of the time they'll like try to be quiet. Like, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, scare the bear and I want to take photos and like yes you don't want to scare the bear but by being quiet the bear doesn't know you're there and you can then scare the bear so um that's why I always play music when I'm hiking um and whatnot but uh yeah that was a, that was a beautiful hike um my back is sore because I took too much stuff in my backpack that I didn't end up needing I took my little burner and some propane and uh you know uh, camping meal and, and whatnot that I didn't end up using um, an extra you know pullover that I didn't need because I'm always sweating my butt off when I hike but yeah I think I'm going to head out of the park I think I'm gonna head to Jackson and I might get a hotel tonight um, I am exhausted um, I also need to eat like a very large meal all I've eaten today was oatmeal um cup of coffee and then a meat stick and some a little you know trail mix thing on the hike which I, I brought the you know camp meal in case i i needed it but i don't know i'm not usually very hungry when i'm hiking but uh yeah i mean overall that was an incredible hike amazing views um just especially this time of year i feel like i'm here at the best time of year because those, all those fall colors and stuff um are just incredible uh so i mean heck if if you're if you're up for it uh it's it's well worth it, but it's certainly not for everybody because that is a haul and a half. Like I said, um, the longest single hike that I've done before was 12 miles, and that was in the redwoods, um, which is like 12 or 13 miles, and it was in the redwoods, which was this like pretty much a flat trail with no elevation gain. This is, you know, an almost 20 mile hike with 4,4100 feet elevation gain. So. Anyways, uh, I think that's about it for today. Like I said, I'm gonna head, I think I'm gonna get a hotel. I'm also definitely gonna be lazy and go out to eat for dinner because I need to absolutely feast and I earned it. Well, I need to stop talking. I need to get a hotel, get food, all of that. Over the next few days, I'll probably be doing some more hiking, but we'll see. After that hike, I feel like I just don't need a hike again for like six months, to be honest. So, anywho, thank you for watching the video. Be sure to check in for the next one.